Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And in this video, let me show you how you can create a map chart. So for that, let me go to the next sheet or create a next sheet because it has become really busy. Um, just have it. Click outside, click it over here, and let me bring map over here, right? Maybe here, and. Uh, it will display in a couple of minutes or seconds, I would say. Um, so here is my map. Um, what kind of layer I want to add uh, your data as a layer uh, displayed on the map, map setting and appearance. What kind of appearance uh, it should have. All right. So let's go to layers and add a layer and I want to add a point layer this case which is much more vis visible in this case so add a dimension dimension should be your country or region you know stuff like that so I added the region as you can see it will update the values accordingly um, and uh, right now it is showing you some of these uh, uh, values like uh, blue dots uh, which you can change based on the settings that you have. For example, if I put the region over here, and uh, first of all, uh, what the field and the value is, and if there is any limitation, but what is indicating in interesting is the size and shape. So size by um, our interesting sum of sales, right? So um, I will just pick the sum of sales from here and I can, increase or decrease the bubble size based on what my needs are and if I want I can make change from bubble to triangle or square pentagon or hexagon based on what my range is so by default it is an auto range but uh, I can specify my custom range in this case but I am fine with what is auto showing over here in the colors uh, by default the color is automatic uh, however you have the option that you want single color or by dimension or by measure so by measure is really interesting i will just select the measure and the measure i want is the profit right um sum of profit so now the profit as you can see is clearly indicating that uh, this is a lighter area that means the profit is less and this is the darker area uh, indicating the profit is high so for example here in this case the profit is really high so let me click on done and here uh, in Ontario the profit is high as well as sales is high but here in this uh, Quebec County uh, the profit is low but the sales is relatively high so that's how you can basically configure uh, different properties like uh, coloring or size and shape uh, based on the needs that you have and it the chart will going to populate automatically for you based on the values that you are specifying.